Eminem has recorded multiple sequels in the past, such as Marshall Mathers LP and Relapse, so we're gonna be walking through all of his projects and seeing if his new album is a sequel. First off, we have Infinite. Eminem recently made an Instagram post talking about Infinite 2. It was actually April Fool's joke. I'll roll the clip right now. It's even more. Infinite. Out today. But yeah, I feel like he's not gonna make a sequel to Infinite. I feel like the fact that he made a troll post is kind of saying that he won't do it. I think it could have potential, like the whole jazz production to the Infinite album was amazing. I loved it, but I don't think that's something that he's gonna do. If he were to do it though, I think he could make it a double disc because Infinite isn't officially released on streaming, but all the Infinite 1 tracks on the first disc make the second disc the new album. But I don't think he'd do this like I said. The modern day Eminem's rhyme schemes definitely match with infinite because infinite was so like lyrically complex so i think if you were to do it it could end up well next up we have the slim shady lp2 it's often regarded as the fan favorite album i have it on vinyl right behind me you can see it right up there and this is one of the most likely in my opinion people are always asking for the old eminem for the old slim shady and i'm sure he has a lot of unrecorded tracks from this time that he could just throw on it i think eminem could very easily get back into this old persona the big problem would be if he couldn't match the energy it would kind of throw off the whole album, but I think Eminem could pull it off. There's actually an unreleased Slim Shady LP2. I'll put it up on screen right now. It's kind of like a playlist. It's fan-made, so all the fans threw it together. A lot of those songs should be on streaming platforms. I don't know why they're not. It might be copyright issues or something. But yeah, Eminem has a lot of content from then that he could throw together. And if he doesn't make it a sequel, he could easily make it a deluxe to the Slim Shady LP. Next up, the Marshall Mathers LP. The reason that he made a sequel in the first place was because everyone liked the Marshall Mathers LP one so much. It was one of Eminem's most commercially successful albums. It was his comeback after the Slim Shady. He addressed all the controversy to his previous album. So he made a part two, but a part three is what we're talking about right now. Personally, I doubt he would do this one. He already made the part two. A third would be kind of crazy. With the first album, he had Stan. With the second one, he had Bad Guy. I would expect to see another entry to that series if he made a part three. But yeah, this is another fan favorite, and this is something that I've seen asked for a lot. On that album, there's a lot of addressing the current state of his career that was back in 2000 but if he were to do that right now i think songs like who knew and i'm back would be replaced for not diss tracks but people talking about how he's washed and how the old eminem was better i think that's what he would mention a lot so he has that content matter to come back to if he were to do marshall mathers lp3 but it'd be very difficult for him to mentally get back into that same spot and satisfy the fans because of how loved that album was originally encore 2 i really hope not the only way i could see this really working is if he threw on those unreleased tracks like Bully, that diss track was amazing, but he never officially dropped it. He has a lot of great songs like with D12 in this era. They have a mixtape that's completely unreleased. Like I said, Bully. He has diss tracks he hasn't put on like The Warning or Nail in the Coffin. He could throw those onto Encore too. But I think it's very unlikely to see him try and enter this mindset again. He looks back on it and says it's one of his least favorite albums. I know a lot of it was leaked. Obviously a tough time for him. It got a lot of hate, the original album. So there's not a lot of people asking for an encore too. But like I said, with those unreleased tracks, he could make it happen. I just don't think the new Eminem could record in the encore 2 style and I wouldn't really want to see it. Next up, we have Relapse 2. We know Eminem was working on a part 2 to Relapse, but he never released it. I don't actually know why. I don't think he ever specifically said why or publicly said it. Relapse is something that I looked at in a couple of years, went back to him and, and cringed at. Mm. I was like, oh, Jesus Christ. I didn't even realize I was doing that many accents. But there's plenty of old tracks that were good, like Oh No. I've reacted to that on this channel. It was an amazing song. He has some crazy freestyles from back then. And I think he could use those to motivate him to record back in the Relapse style. This is one of the ones that I would want to see the most. I love the Relapse album. I think it's very underrated. It's got some crazy wordplay. The modern Eminem could totally match that wordplay and like the rhyme schemes, all that. But just like Encore, I think it's unlikely to see him try and get back into this mindset. This is an era that he looks back on, he hates it. So yeah, I'm not exactly expecting this, but I would love it personally. Then we have Recovery, another vulnerable Eminem album. It's pretty pop, pretty mainstream. I think the modern Eminem could match it pretty easily. Another fan favorite. Now there's actually an unreleased Dr. Dre album called Detox. So I think Eminem could use those songs as either inspiration or just take them and put them on the track list i think this would be the easiest era for him to actually re-enter lyrically and mentally because he can totally relate to recovery still to this day so yeah that's one that i would love to see i'd love to see most of these actually besides encore i guess i also wouldn't want to see revival either which is the next one it's very unlikely that he will go back to revival unless he's just trying to troll us i mean there's so much hate on revival eminem got so much hate for it actually that he made a diss album not just a diss track a whole album and yeah with that in mind i doubt he would be expecting to please the fans so i don't think that's something that he's going to be wanting to do maybe he has a bunch of unreleased songs in his vault that have like features with ed sheeran and all those pop artists i think part of me doesn't expect it because i don't want to see it like i'm just pushing it away i'd 
don't want to see a revival part two. But yeah, I guess it's possible. Next up, Kamikaze. I completely forgot about Kamikaze while well, writing the notes for this video. But I think this could actually be possible. I mean, a lot of people are saying Eminem's washed. I mean, it's not a new conversation, but a lot of people say Eminem's washed. He could keep that momentum from music to be murdered by. A lot of people like that and the whole theme to it. I think there's a lot of new targets for him to go after. Like back then he was kind of dissing like a lot of those artists that he didn't think had the skill to match up with him. And he could go after a lot of those new artists that are into that whole trap mumble rap scene, if you want to call it that. The fans loved Kamikaze, but the problem is he doesn't really have a reason to make it. Like I said, people have been saying he's washed, but that's not new. He doesn't have like an album that's hated. He doesn't have features that are hated recently so personally i don't see this happening but i would love to have it and then lastly music to be murdered by side c so he dropped a side a and side b this would be his third entry technically side b was kind of like a double album it's hard to explain i actually thought he was dropping side c as his next album but then he came out with curtain call i know it's like a greatest hits but I really thought Side C was the next entry into his catalog. But the fact that he dropped Curtain Call 2 makes me feel like he moved on from Music To Be Murdered By series. So I don't think he's going to go back to it. But I guess it's possible he could have the extra leftover songs. He could still be in that mind space. Who really knows? Nobody has really requested it either. I haven't seen anybody asking for a Side C. A lot of people ask for the Slim Shady LP like I talked about. The Relapse 2. The Marshall Mathers LP 3. But anything's possible like we've said for a lot of these. So yeah, that's all of Eminem's previous projects. I really think Recovery is possible, Slim Shady LP2 is possible, I think Marshall Mathers LP3 is possible, but besides that, like I wouldn't really see him entering Encore, Infinite was kind of a troll already, Revival he knows people don't want, so I wouldn't see those. Let me know what albums you guys would want to see a part 2 or part 3 to most down below, and thank you for watching. If you want to see more Eminem videos, I got a link right up here, you can click it, we have reactions, tier lists, brackets, all of that, so thank you for checking this out, peace out.